Thank you for watching this demonstration of GeoDiscover tool or Click Sense. I'm Mike Stroop. I'm the founder of US Geo Market, and I want to take a few moments and show you how you can integrate Azure Map Services directly into your Click Sense dashboard system. What we've created is a utility, an extension, which allows you to add as many layers as you wish from Esri. It can be Esri ArcGIS Online, it can be uh, ArcGIS Server, it can be the Esri Portal. We allow you to bring in those map services, visualize them, interact with them, and also do geoprocessing and geospatial tasks as well. Let's walk through the, the, the dashboard. What we have here is a standard ClickSense dashboard. I'm viewing it in my local hub. Uh, you can use this extension in your, your desktop and visualize it in your browser. But the functionality we have, we allow you to go to trees drop downs and do a variety of things. For example, I may want to change the base map. We bring in about 12 default base maps, but you can also, through configuration, Use your own company's base map. Perhaps you use sales territory or different regions of the country as a base map. You can add those to a configuration file, just one line, the URL, and they're available down at the bottom of the list. So I just changed the base map. We're also able to interact with layers. You can have as many layers as you wish, and the, the coloring comes from the click side of the house, the click sense tables. So what you see here is I just turned on a storm system, uh, a polygon visualized, uh, you're just depicting a storm system. And I have counties, I'll turn them off, turn them on. But the blue and pink coloring is actually coming from a click table. So here on the right, I've got a table of all my counties. And your developers are not Esri experts. They're click sense developers. So they understand how to use expressions in a sense table in order to designate colors. Perhaps it's based on the quantity in the row, uh, it can be any number of things, but you assign a color that is then passed into the map. The same thing applies to points. Let's zoom in a little bit and look at some of these points. So what we have here, uh, we have some yellow and some red points. Well, as you can already tell, the yellow and red is coming from this table, which is about the point data, the locations. Same concept applies. Your developer simply uh, defined the color in the expression, and that is passed into the map. Can pass size as well. If you want your point to be smaller for a certain value and larger, that is just fine, and you simply do it inside of configuration. You tell it a graduated ball. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we have multiple layers. We also have what's called a pin. A pin allows you to create a market research area. So I highlight pin, and then I just go touch the map, and it gives me the option to do an analysis. I can do it based on um, miles or minutes. We're going to do, uh, let's do a 10 mile uh, point. So it does the calculation and it gives me that area. So I zoom in here and this is now a virtual layer. So I can use it for analysis. I can use this layer and find everything that's underneath it. So, for example, uh, if you're a hospital, if you're in healthcare, and from a clinic's location, which you touch on the map, drop a pin, you can say, within a 10-mile radius, tell me every orthopedic patient. And when you, when you make that selection and click, they all appear. So this study area allows you to interact more directly with the map. To clear the pin, you simply clear the pin. It's back out. I'm rolling my mouse wheel to do this, this navigation. We also give you interaction tools so you can uh, interact with the map and update click view. You simply tell it the layer that you wish to interact with. These are the layers that you have turned on. We'll stay with wells, but these are all wells, but other points. I can use a rectangular search tool. I can use a uh, 
polygon search tool. I can use a freehand polygon or I can use a circle. A circle is very similar to the pin we just dropped. So if we use a rectangular search tool and uh, highlight an area, suddenly you're seeing interaction between the map and the dashboard. The yellow area is what we highlighted. And uh, you also see in the uh, in the stents tab here, we have 19 of 500 of 900 of our points. So we're we're doing selections in those points by making a rectangular selection. And you can turn off the rectangular selection so it's visually out of your way, but the selections are maintained. All right, let's zoom back out so we have more points to interact with. And we'll clear those points using the set selection here. All right. We also allow you to do heat maps. Now, a typical heat map, supply the heat map so we can see it. Let me turn off my layer just because they're kind of covering it up. Typical heat map calculations include uh, the number of points you have and the distance in between them. It's looking for concentrations. But what we allow you to do is provide a seed into that calculation. So perhaps you want it to be on the column or uh, depth of your points. You can use that to drive the calculation. You can use the volume. In another example, you might be an insurance company and you want to look at number of claims. The heat map would then be based on that and the distance in between them. It could be based on a number of insurers. You know, there, you can use any of your point data to drive the heat maps. To turn off the heat map, you simply apply the color values and you're back to your normal points. We allow you to do searches. This allows you to find every point with a certain parameter. But one of the most interesting features we've included, and let's, let's turn on some layers just so we have some more visualizations here. There we go. Is printing. We all know that printing inside of Click is a problem with extension objects. But what we're able to do now is when you press this Click icon, we're going to name it. I'll just call it Demo. What's happening is it's going to take what's inside of the mapping area and present that in a PDF file. So you know, currently in the in the entire Click platform, that's that's a difficult thing to do. So now I can open this with my, my Adobe Reader, and I get a PDF map of exactly what I'm seeing in the dashboard. All right, let's walk around the functionality a little bit more. We give you navigation. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can go home. This uses uh, your computer's location and centers the map on your location. But one of the most intriguing pieces of functionality we've included is green, white, and gray. All click people have that embedded into our brains, green, white, and gray. Currently, I have the green turned on, and I have the white checked, and I want to add all of my gray values. So what happened? It turned on my counties, which were not in play. It also found all of the points uh, that are in my data set, but they were not included. So you can, you can select green, white, and gray, and turn those on and off. I'll turn off the gray, and we come back to our points that we have uh, on the map. All right, I want to zoom in a little bit. I want to show you something we've done with pop-ups. So I'm going to touch this point, and we get a pop-up. Now, the information in the pop-up can come from either the Esri side, or it can come from the click side for the information that's inside. So if you're doing a calculation in a click table, uh, a, a cost or an expense, and you're adding up numbers, you can send that over into the pop-up. It does not have to be just a field response. It can be a calculated response from your table. But here's what's really interesting, and we've added this. This is called TriView. It's an icon here in the lower right-hand side of the pop-up. When I press this, it opens up another piece of browser, another tab, 
and it gives me three visual perspectives on that point. It gives me a street map in the upper left. It gives me a street view in the lower left. I can interact with that. I can walk around. Ah, and you notice that both my street view, my street map version moved, and my satellite imagery moved to the right side. So you can use this, perhaps in retail, to study locations. And one of your points is, uh, is an address. When you touch that with TriView, suddenly you have satellite imagery of it. You have street view, so you can look at the neighborhood. And you have a street map, so you know where you are. So that's uh, another added piece of functionality that we have in our GeoDiscover Esri Maps for Click Sense connector. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. This is uh, totally available in your ClickSense server and your Sense desktop. And we hope to talk to you soon. Visit us at our website at us-geomarket.com. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.